Yes, guys, how is it going? And welcome back to the adventure. Today is a very, very special one. Today, I'm going to do something that I've never tried before. I'm going to do two matches in a day. I'm going to West Ham versus Chelsea, which is this video uh, at half past 12. And I'm going to go Watford versus City at half past five. I'm also going to try and get them up in the same day, which is going to be a task on its own. But I'm really, really excited to try it nevertheless. But this is the West Ham Chelsea video. And I'm really, really excited to go back to the London Stadium for today's London derby between West Ham and Chelsea. Chelsea sitting up at the top of the league. Only one point ahead of us, but still sitting up there. West Ham haven't won in the Premier League since I last saw them at the London Stadium uh, with that fantastic win against Liverpool. So it's going to be one hell of a game today. West Ham need to get back to their winning ways to keep their top four place alive and the top four dream of getting into the Champions League and Chelsea need to win to keep that gap over the chasing pack of City and Liverpool. It's going to be one hell of a match today. Really, really excited to get back to the London Stadium. Uh, yeah, let's head down there. Come on. Back in St Pancras, we're on our way to the London Stadium. It took us a while to get to London today, a bit of a delay on the train, but uh, the way that I went to the London Stadium last time really worked. So let's do that again. Let's go. And we're in, we're back at the London Stadium for today's game between West Ham and Chelsea. Now, I thought West Ham's back five was a little bit negative in the last game against City at the Etihad. I'm not too sure what they played against Brighton uh, on Wednesday, uh, but they're going with a back five again today uh, with a front three of Lanzini, who scored that belting goal at the Etihad. Uh, Gerard Bowen does start this time, and Mikhail Antonio. That's West Ham starting line for today. Chelsea then are their normal back three with Rhys James and Marcus Alonso taking up the wing-backs position. Loftus-Cheek had a banging game against Juventus. He plays with Jorginho, third place in the Ballon d'Or in the middle of midfield. Front three, Havertz, Ziyech and Mason Mount. Mount scored uh, a goal against Watford and Ziyech scored the other one. Uh, they're coming off a midweek win. Uh, West Ham, I've heard, have never beaten Brighton at the London Stadium. And that was true with Neil Mopé's last minute bicycle kick at the other end. So it's going to be an interesting game today. Oh, really excited. West Ham against Chelsea at the London Stadium for a London derby. Let's go. Here we go then in the sunshine at the London Stadium. It's West Ham against Chelsea for the London Derby. Let's have it. Let's have a good game. Let's go. Oh, 
free header, team. It's a free header. Well, it's a goal for Chelsea, Thiago Silva, it's such a sloppy goal to concede, off a corner, no one near it, just guides the header in off the post. He did it at Tottenham, he's done it at West Ham, big, big goal in this London derby for Chelsea, 1-0. Got to be better defending there, but good header from Thiago uh, Silva. Yes! Oh. can happen no matter how good you are on the ball one mistake and West Ham are back in this game what a penalty from Lanzini one all game on Chelsea have been in complete control please one all that's why we love football chance Ziyech oh good defending that from West Ham Oh, it's a finish. What a finish. That one could be a killer goal, but what a goal for Chelsea. Brilliant break. It's one back in the middle of the field. Brilliant ball over the top from Hakim Ziyech. And what a finish by Mason Mount. That is on the volley. Right into Fabianski's near post. No chance for the West Ham number one. What a goal for Chelsea that is. It's just a sweet, sweet strike. But uh, Mason Mount celebrating in front of the West Ham fans. It cracked me up a little bit. <laughs> Giving them all the, the air cup and the shush. It's a good finish though. Really good finish. Marin. This would be killer. Oh, good challenge. That saved the match, that challenge from Zuma. Navitz is down, and Zuma. It's a bit of a coming together. Okay then, so it's half time at the London Stadium. And yeah, that's about the normal amount of drama a London Tarby usually gives us. Uh, it was a bit of drama, but, but well, we won't talk about the first 20 minutes as they were absolutely dire. I don't even remember there being a chance other than Havertz being offside and missing from about four yards out. Uh, Chelsea obviously took the lead from a Mason Mount corner uh, headed in by Thiago Silva. And Thiago Silva's been all over Antonio at the back. Antonio's been trying to get in front of him uh, to hold up the ball. And Thiago Silva's just... Although he's a little bit older than, uh, than the normal centre-back nowadays, he's just, he just reads the game just absolutely brilliantly. He's always getting in front of Antonio. And Antonio really, really can't, uh, can't get on the ball and, and make hold-up plays to dish out to the West Ham wide players. And they can't make anything happen. 
Uh, the West Ham goal came from a horrendous Chelsea mistake. Uh, it was a, it was a foul in the box uh, from the mistake. I think it was by Mendy, and the, the penalty was in, emphatically brought in by Lanzini, and that got the crowd up and going. I really don't like our 12 kickoffs because the atmosphere is so sleepy in the Chelsea end and the West Ham end. Chelsea end only woke up after they scored, and likewise with the West Ham end. So I'm not a fan of our 12 kickoffs, but it's it, it's been an eight o'clock start for me today to get here. Uh, turnstiles open at half ten. It's just a bit too early, but but that's that's a point for another day. Um, obviously, West Ham getting back in the game and then being caught on the break like they did. Suchet lost the ball in the middle of midfield. Uh, the ball went out to ZX. What a ball over the top it was! Oh my goodness me! What street sweet strike! Got my words out of the end. It was that good from Mason Mount and then the audacity to uh, cup his ear and rub it into the West Ham fans that's what we want with a London derby we want a little bit of banter between the two sets of supporters uh, West Ham fans obviously weren't happy Mason Mount with a goal and an assist in the first half uh, Chelsea obviously been on top of this game completely in cruise control and they let their uh, let the head slip for one minute and that's what happens in football West Ham got themselves back in the game uh, Chelsea needs to just keep on top if um, and it looks like they'll be going to the top of the table another goal for Chelsea surely wins this game West Ham needs to use that uh, momentum that they had against Liverpool that fighting spirit get the crowd behind them and uh, get them back in this game they need a goal and they need to come out in the second half fighting as soon as possible because the more time that they give the Chelsea to have possession and uh, control the game the more uh, the more chance that Chelsea are going to grab another goal and get this win secured by about 70-80 minutes so uh, it's an interesting game it's been a bit of an interesting half it's half time it's West Ham 1 Chelsea 2 what a goal by Mason Mount though oh, what a strike Second half, all to play for. Big Rom has come off for Chelsea. He's back from injury to play against the Hammers today. Ooh, Big Rom is back. <laughs> that was close. Come in. Oh, good challenge. Zuma just pulled up in the penalty box when the khaki was sent through. And, uh, yeah, it's just had to come off now. Good head. Well done. Here we go. Here we go. There they come. Oh. 
Um, he's got another chance. Better. Oh, good goalkeeping. Oh. It's another. Oh. It looked like it was going in that. Chelsea were completely on top uh, for the whole of the first half and they got like huge goals just before our time. But the second half, West Ham, I said that they needed some uh, team spirit like they did against Liverpool and boy, they found it. A crazy goal, brilliant strike from Bowen to equalise, but a crazy goal to win it. A Masuaku deflecting cross, another mistake from Mendy, not like him at all. Two big mistakes again uh, today that cost two uh, two goals, very, very heavy, uh, heavy mistakes there. And it just ended up in, I've no idea how it managed to creep in there. Uh, but yeah, what an experience again at the London Stadium. Another 3-2 win for West Ham. And well, that is a huge result, not only for the second game that I'm about to go to, uh, to the City match. We can win. If we, 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 if we win, we go top. Oh, I just can't, can't get my words out. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, also, big, big shout out to the West Ham fans I was sat with. You guys are absolutely incredible. Great to talk to you. And uh, I'll definitely be back to the London Stadium soon to catch up with the guys that I was sat with today and to come back and watch West Ham. Because... They're absolutely incredible to watch whenever I come and see them. Unbelievable. What a game of football. Crazy game. And West Ham, do you know what? They just about deserved it. Chelsea were better in the first half. West Ham were better in the second half. The atmosphere got them through. Uh, what a win for West Ham, that is. They keep their top four dream alive. Can they get the Champions League this season? Well, playing like that in the second half, of course they can. What a win for West Ham. They win the London derby against Chelsea by three goals to two. Get up. to the madness at the London Stadium this afternoon. Oh my goodness me, what a game of football that was. 
Chelsea going 2 1 up at half time in complete control. But a super strike by Gerard Bowen and a crazy goal by Masawaku. One West Ham this London derby. Atmosphere was crazy. Uh, yeah, West Ham fans, you guys are absolutely incredible. You're turning uh, the London Stadium into the Upton Park atmosphere. Brilliant, brilliant game of football to watch. So appreciative to be here. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like the video if you have enjoyed. This one was a banger. Uh, and yeah, I'm off to now Watford versus City uh, for my expedition Saturday. Proper sports Saturday for me. Uh, don't, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to never miss an adventure. And I'll see you guys next time. What a game!